Well, hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So, since last episode, we left Hush River Valley, we crossed through to Mountain Town, and then we made our way, eventually, ooh, we actually got to Fast Touch Level 4, nice, uh, and we made our way back to Pleasant Valley, which is the first time we've been back here for a little while. So, uh, today, we need to go explore some more regions, because we haven't explored everything we could. I feel like going through maybe to Coastal Highway, Crumbling Highway, Desolation Point this episode and maybe next episode. I think that would be quite nice. And then what we might do is we might go to Bleak Inlet, Fallen Muskeg, just so that we can say that we've been to those areas. And I probably will say Black Rock till last if we get round to it because I haven't actually gone to Black Rock and that does terrify me a little bit. So I'm not quite sure whether we're going to make that in the 100 days. We don't have long left. For those of you interested, we are currently on day 72. That was 28 days and we will be done. Off camera, I did fix up our hacksaw. So that's 90%. I could actually repair that one more time. Let's do it. Boom, there we go. Nice. Right, so we should have enough water. We should definitely have enough food on us because we've got tons out here. Uh, we should probably start getting through some of this food, though. So we'll take a couple of bits. Peanut butters. Take the other peanut butter just so we've got plenty on us. That'll do. Because we are now level five, we have no issues with that now. So that is gravy. There we go. Lovely. So I'm going to actually take that on our little trip just because we're going to need something to cook with. And I think we're probably okay. Yeah, we've got a ton of water, so that'll do. I will take the torch, uh, just in case we do go through Bleak and not on the way back, just so that we can deal with Timberwolves if there is an Aurora. I think that's fair enough. And I think we're good apart from that. What we're going to do is we're going to sharpen the tools. I'm going to go to sleep, and first thing in the morning, we will set off towards Coastal Highway. We can tick those off our list of places to go explore before the end of the series. And then it's really just Bleak Inlet, Fallen Muskeg, Black Rock. I could do Broken Railroad, but I'm not quite sure if it's worth doing. I suppose I should. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, there we go. So, now on to day 74. Lovely. I think we are ready to go. We've already burnt through all the peanut butter that I had picked up, so we're going to need to pick up a bit more. Got a ton of cattails, so I think we're going to be all right on that front food-wise. It would be nice to have a few more flares. I feel like we are getting a little bit low on them. And should I bring the heavy hammer? Are we going to do anything with that? I think so. Yeah, uh, we'll bring some charcoal as well, so we can map our way a bit. That's pretty good. We're still underweight. That's fine. We've still got the flare gun stuff on us, so that's not a problem. I've uh, got the crowbar. I don't think we're going to need simple tools. I'll put that down. So shall we take the jerry can? No, I'm sure we'll find more on the way. Cool. Right, off the coastal highway we go. Right, so the way to coastal highway is fairly straightforward. Uh, instead of going right where we go to Mystery Lake, we go left back to the little starting village and we just go up and round a hill and we get to where we need to go. A little cave entrance, we go through that and we will arrive. Again, I think Coastal Highway is probably classed as one of the easier maps. It's, I think, one step up from Mystery Lake, one step down from Pleasant Valley. It's got quite a lot of houses and interiors, but it's also got quite a lot of hostile wildlife, especially wolves, around the main town. So, I think it's going to be a fairly quick whistle-stop tour of Coastal Highway. I would like to find Barb's rifle, if I can, just so we can complete the set of the specialised rifles. So, what is the... The temperature's actually quite cold. I think it's because it's still quite early in the day, but that's not too much of a problem. Uh, what's it feel like? Minus 11. Uh, we should be all right. There's a couple of cars in the way we could probably jump into to warm up. Is that just because the actual temperature or the wind chill? The wind chill is what's getting us. We can jump into a car if absolutely necessary. We haven't just haven't been in this car the whole time. Oh, how weird. Been there the whole time. Oh, what's that? This oh. In handy. How have we passed this so many times and never looked in that car? <laughs> I have no idea, but we've now got a book to read. Good, it's been a little while since we actually had a book to read. I just continue on our merry way. It's not that long. If anything exciting happens, I will be back. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like a blizzard. Got the pace a little bit. I don't really want to have to hunker down. There is a car we could just jump into. Make sure that we've checked this car as well. We haven't checked the, the boot. It's because we just haven't really been back along the cars that we didn't check right at the beginning of the game. Uh, now we're fine to get in. Yeah, we're warming up now. We haven't searched this glove box. So much missed opportunities. Let's take those apart anyway. Could read an hour of this. Don't look great. 
Fine, read another hour. <laughs> another one. Sounds like it's died down now. That wasn't too bad. Uh, much better temperature. Only four degrees, though. The winds died down. Will give us enough chance to get to Coastal Highway without any major issues, hopefully, which will be very, very nice. Uh, this is so weird going from... I've been using a laptop uh, to do all my videos and recordings for the past... Ooh, six... Uh, four, six months, something like that. And it's weird going back to a desktop where I've got a monitor that's probably twice the size of the laptop screen. It's a bit weird on my eyes. So apologies if I uh, do anything a bit weird. It's probably due to that. We do technically have our gun on us with all the ammo in the world. And we've also got the flare gun. I think we'll be fine. Do, did I not bring a bow? I've got fire hardened arrows. I left my bow. That's really annoying. I brought all my arrows, left my bow. The chance of us making another bow in the space of 27 days is slim. It will take us a few days to get the maple dried and everything. It's possible, but it might take a little while. I'll carry the arrows for me just for the time being, but I'm not getting my hopes up. If I can't make a bow in Coastal Highway, I will leave the arrows somewhere where I can pick them up on the way back. There is some crisps right in the front of that car. Ooh, and a flare. Carbon matches. Okay, cool. Through there is a bear cave, and I think possibly one other cave. There's also a couple of wolves that patrol this little forested area. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to follow the road. And there'll be a cut through on the right. And then a little road that will lead us up the hill to the abandoned mine. Once we're there, fairly straightforward. We just cross through the mine, get to the side, and we're at Coastal Highway. Over Ah, uh, there is a wolfie right there. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I should be able to just go straight up this little bit of slope. That should get past him. And that should enable us to get past him. I think we're all right now. He does it. Once we get past him, it should be fairly easy. I think there's another wolf technically to our right over there, but as long as we stick to the road and we cut straight through, we should hopefully avoid the wolves altogether. Usually if you stick to the road, it's only the one you have to deal with, but it does mean you kind of have to deal with a wolf. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Cool. Right, up the road we go. So we just need to get to the top of here, and there will be an abandoned mine. Go through that, and we, uh, we're we pretty much set. We'll probably have to sleep in the mine. I doubt we're going to get through that with our current tiredness and the limited amount of light we've got left. But we'll see. Hopefully we can make it. Right, here we are. We are at the abandoned mine. So we should be able to get a nice little look at Pleasant Valley. That. We can almost see our house. We can see the barn next door, but I think it's just over that hill, which is annoying. Uh, let's do a little charcoal just to see. I doubt we're going to discover much, but... Okay, we got a couple of bits. Yeah, it's not too bad. I need to mark more on Pleasant Valley. I've barely done anything, have I? <laughs> Let us go into the mine. Goodbye, Pleasant Valley. And... Ooh, lantern fuel. Good. And cured leather. Revolver cartridge. We always just find revolver cartridges wherever we go. And I think uh, I will take them just so we can get the leather. Now there is quite a lot of coal you can find in here, so we are going to want to pick up some of it. We'll pick up as much as we can without going out of our way. It's always worth doing because that means you can, um, yeah, harvest some more in a couple of weeks. Got some quality tools. Very nice. More revolver ammunition an emergency stim we are now spraying <laughs> oh the first one of these we found this is from one of the new areas that the dlc adds so that's very nice but we're not going to go there this series but i've kind of covered it in my streams so i don't feel the need to go there imminently and i doubt we'd even get there with 
with only uh, 28 days, 27 days left to go. <laughs> we just wouldn't have time. Right, okay. Back here, just some scrap metal. Uh, got a bunch more coal. We've got another rifle cartridge. Not doing too badly on the rifle cartridge front. We have some cloth. We've got a jerry can. Three litres of the stuff. Very nice. Got chips. Beef jerky. We've got a lot of food. Glad we didn't pick up much else uh, before we left. Okay, right. A little bit more to go. Quickly... Put what we can in here. I think we'll settle in for the night. Oh, we got the stone kit. Buy a fire and cleaning kit to my right, which is very exciting. Not that I really need it right now, but still. If we find Barb's rifle, it's probably going to be in awful condition, so it's probably worth getting. Right, and here we go. We are at the exit. Lovely, lovely stoof. So, we are very tired. I could push it a bit, actually. Like, we could try and get to maybe, like, the lookout tower. Oh, another flare. Yeah, I reckon we will do that. Uh, so let's drop all the coal. Yeah, I'm going to drop that. We're not going to need that. Have a quick drink. Have a quick snack on an MRE. Tasty, tasty MRE. And I think we will push on to the lookout tower. We shouldn't be too far away. And the lookout tower is fairly easy to find from here. You can go down there and you'll find a couple of houses. Or you can continue this way. And eventually you will find the lookout tower on the right. It does look like, unfortunately, we've come with... <laughs> and it's snowing fairly heavily. We might get a little bit wet. Right, here we go. This looks like it's promising. Pretty sure it is just... Oh, lovely. We do a charcoal and we get to the top. Or this kicks in. Oh, just about. Lovely stuff. So fairly basic in here. Got a note left behind. Exciting. Dog food. <laughs> and pork and beans. Accelerant and a decent hook. Got ruined orange soda. We've got some more revolver cartridges, of course. And a wardeners kitchen, which we do not need anymore. We'll take apart this chair. Just before we get fired. Rifle cartridge. Cool. Now we're going to need to take apart some of the clothing that we do not need. Yeah, we don't need that. Then finish off that. A couple of crumbs left at the bottom of the packet. I'll take this stuff and I'll leave it at the garage where we're going. That's fine. We're only two kilos over. Right, let's go sleep. Right, we survived 73 days, 19 hours and 20 minutes. Getting there. Open the dog food, eat that up. That should give us back some water as well. Maybe a little bit of the water. It's still quite early. You know what? We are going to read two hours of that. Just get to get rid of the book, basically. A bit heavy. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so you can see from here, we've got the lake directly in front of us. A couple little islands with houses on top. And to our left, and just about make out there, there's a house there. A little village just behind those trees. That's where we're going. Now, the good thing about Coastal Highway is you can pretty much go most of this hill. It's not hard to do. Despite the fact there is a climb down there, it's really easy to go down this bit. That's what we're going to do. It's actually much safer, to, I think, to go down than to take the road, because the road is littered with wolves and you can encounter bears. Whereas you go down here, you're probably just going to risk a sprain. Maybe two at a push. Oh. There's one bit done, and I think there's a little cave here. Oh, we did get a maple sapling. Now, I'm not going to rule out the uh, bow just yet, then. Another revolver. We leave it behind, and we just keep coming across them. <laughs> We've got so many of them now. If I don't know all the locations for Barb's rifle. Ow, that was silly. Fix ourselves up. Take the rose hit tea. So, I don't know the location of all potential locations for Barb's Rifle. I only know of two. So, we're going to have a look, see what we can find. I'm hoping we can find it, but if we can't, not too big a deal. 
But this is quite a nice little place to get to. Uh, we're going to search these little houses and we'll press on to the garage. So, uh, anything in here at all? Buy a log, but it's not really needed. Can there. Pork and beans. Not normally much in here. I've got a candy bar. Guess that's something. Yeah, that'll do. A uh, ton of books here. Not much else there. New dog food. That it by the look of it. Okay. On to the last one. Right. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, there was a cheeky new pinnacle peaches. I'm surprised it's this high condition. We're, it's, we're on day 70 odd. We're finding stuff at quite high condition. I'm honestly surprised. Take that, I found a 39% soda. Okay, I think that's fine. And then just straight down, we should come across the lake. You can see these little fishing huts, so they're all really, really good for if you want to actually do some fishing here. Which we may well do. It could be quite good to do a little bit of fishing. Bear. The bear can walk along the roads, so you do have to be a little bit careful. Uh, but, looks like we've made it to the base without too many issues, which is great. So, what we're going to do is, there's a, you can see that all the wolves, five wolves directly in front of me. Yeah, that's why um, Coastal Highways, seriously... That's why Coastal Highway is a bit of a pain on Stalker. I do have... Yeah, I've got the crampons on. That's ridiculous. That was unlucky. Right, we're coming across this little logging camp. A couple of bits there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to nip across to this island. And then that island. And both of them have little households on. Find some decent loot in them. Would be good. We do have this little mine here, which I don't know... I don't know if it's always been here... I found it in a personal playthrough not long ago. And I think it's the first time I've ever been in here. I don't think it leads anywhere. Uh, but we can find some decent stuff. And especially since the new DLC drop, I think you can find the respirator things for the gas mask in here. Not too bad. Uh, oh, catch it. Wow. Ooh, water would be nice. Uh, what have we actually got in here then? We've got a flare. Oh. Jerky. Uh, we've got some coal in here. We've got a, another backpack. If you wanted coal to then go to... Well, for some reason, you want extra coal. Because you don't need to get coal before you go to Desolation Point. You can find it on the way. There's a little cave system with a ton of coal. Uh, so you don't really need to worry. But I suppose in here, you can get a couple of pieces if you're desperate. Um. So, is there anything else in here that's worth... Uh, flashlight. A lift. Does this, like, work during an aurora or something? I've never tried that. But it is clearly an electric lift. I'd, I'd highly doubt it. I think it'd be more of a thing. But that's still pretty cool to find. Let's go to the logging camp now. I think we're going to leave quite a lot in the garage when we get there. So I'm not too worried about being overweight. I believe the bear can also, or a bear, can also roam around here. Well, we're just going to go into this little logging camp bit here. Log sort. More dog food. Great. <laughs> All we found is dog food and canned goods. More water. It was meant to be a fleeting visit to Coastal Highway, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be super encumbered even before we get to the garages. Can spy flour to my right as well. I'm not doing cooking, although there's a cooking pot which I'm gonna take with me. Um, I would like to have the two so I can leave one here. If I found some like raw meat, I would happily make a I oh why <laughs> to help us with our encumbrance, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not risking hunting anything while I'm here. So much food. Take the antibiotics. Um, and I think that's it. That light shell. There's all this stuff that we just uh, spoiled now. 
suppose we've got uh, pretty much the same that we've had most of the way through. There's been some changes like the mucklucks and uh, getting the wolfskin coat. But to be honest, it's pretty much been the same since Timberwolf Mountain, hasn't it? But we've been spoiled since then. Very, very spoiled. Okay. That one's boarded up, so we've got one more house to go. Oh, we've got a body. Oh, that's a very... Normally, they're not that highly detailed around the face in the sardines. Once again, we've got enough food to last for like another four days. <laughs> so I think we're going to be okay. That's the thing about discovering going through a new region. You just find so much stuff, especially Mystery Lake Coastal Highway. You find a ton of stuff. So it is good to come here early on. And I think we're going to set up our little temporary base at the garages because that tends to be where the moose and the bear go past, if there is one, and also quite a lot of loot in the surrounding area and wolves nearby, but not too close. But right, we're fine. We're fine for the bit. Fully fed, fully watered. Is that a deer there? That's a deer. There's wolves right there. Okay, this is the way we have to go then. We'll go to this fishing hut, and then we'll cut over to those that fishing hut. We'll go to the right, check out that one, then we'll cross over, go to that one. Because, yeah, either side. There's walls over that side, walls over that side, walls over there. Check out this little fishing hut. Nobody needs this anymore. Uh, I think we're right. Green flare as well. Oh. Oh, there's a blizzard. Um. Okay. Do we have anything to even start a fire with? No. Got no fuel. This is not a good place to be in. At least we're inside. Guess we'll break the ice. <laughs> Fish for an hour. Drop that. Fish for another hour. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, right there. So I think we're going to be okay. At least this way it means that the animals have reset. Aim for that fishing hut. I mean, over there is the perfect place to aim for because there's lots of deer. But I do want to explore that first. Yeah, I'm not quite sure which one's which. I think that's Misanthropes Island and that is Jack Rabbit. And what's quite good here is you can find stuff washed up on the shore. You can find all sorts of stuff, like containers, or fish, or cloth, or clothing, anything like that. You can find tons and tons of stuff. You just need to risk falling in the ice for it. <laughs> so it doesn't come without risk. But you can survive off the stuff you can find. It can be quite uh, lucrative if you are persistent. Oh, right, let's use the charcoal. Cool. Little bit wary of those walls to my right. Should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Good, good. Oh, that was weak ice there. <laughs> Looks like we do have a corpse. That might be worth going to have an explore before we actually go up to the house itself. So, like, we've got some birch bark. Nice. What else do we have here? Um, is that an MRE? That is an MRE. That was amazing to find that washed up. Quality tools washed up. Nice. So you can find loads and loads of stuff. The MRE, I've never found one before that. That's, that's nuts. I've never found that high condition and never found an MRE washed up. Let's see what we've got down here. And we have a corpse. Polaroid. Hey. Back at the abandoned lookout. Lovely. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll probably do that maybe on the way back. Go around this way. Got another corpse. I think that's a deer. I could risk taking that. You just need to run up the hill and the house at the top. 
but there's no way for us to cook in here. There's no indoor cooking location. So I think it would kind of be wasted if we tried doing it now. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Try getting up this way. Not sure we can. Oh, we can. Good. Nope. Lovely. And the wolves can patrol the perimeter, but I don't think they normally come up onto the island unless they're chasing a rabbit. So I think we should be all right now. There's a couple of houses over there that might be worth checking out at some point. I'm tempted to check them out before I progress any further, actually, because I don't know if I'm going to be coming back. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll, I'll check that out in the morning, and then we'll go to the next island. We can find some quite good loot there. Right, let's go. Loads of rabbits here. And this is Jackrabbit, then. Pretty sure. In. Cool. And this makes a fairly good base location if you're in Coastal Highway. It's one of the uh, one of the good ones, just because the amount of rabbits that spawn, and also you're near a lot of different looting places. You've also got the stuff that washes onto the shore, so you do have quite a lot of potential stuff to gather from here. You've also got the fishing spots, so it's not a bad base location. It just depends what you're after. If you're after fishing and the stuff that washes up, then yeah, this is probably a really, really good location. But I'm not fussed about the stuff that washes up from the shore. I know I did just get an MRE, which is <laughs> nuts, but I think we're going to focus on getting to the garage. Because arguably that's one of the best locations. I think it probably is the best base location. Just because you tend to have the moose and the bear go past there. Lots of wolves, some deer nearby, plenty of houses to loot. Fishing huts aren't that far away and it's on the main road. Uh, we are way too encumbered. Well, we'll finish looting this house and then uh, we will go to sleep. We'll have to eat some bits, have some stuff to drink. Hopefully by that point we'll... Uh, be able to walk again. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we just woke up. Affliction cabin fever. Are we going to be alright? Uh, 20%. We're going to be outside a lot shortly after this. I did put down the green maple to start curing. We might just need to go outside and get rid of it. Well, I've got a few hours before dawn anyway. If we get out the wind, if we crouch down, maybe. What does it feel like? One degrees. I reckon we'll be all right. That's the something to eat. Let's have this dog food. Okay, we can at least run now. That's something. But we're going to need to lose a lot more. If we're going to run over to those houses over there, drop enough stuff so that we can actually get around. The green maple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it inside, leave it here to cure, and hopefully... By the time we get back, it will be a little bit further along. I guess then, while we're fairly light, try and get across this little village. Is that a different corpse? Hang on. A human one. They're a chocolate bar. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, yeah, just go show the things that can wash up on shore. So I would say this is the safest way to cross. The only problem is a bear can spawn, and it likes to roam and go directly up to this little well, fishing village. You have to be a little bit careful. The bear walks right up to it, basically into the village itself. But apart from that, quite a nice little area. See the wolves over there. Getting over there is going to be a pain if we wanted to go over there, but... Uh, don't think... Uh, I'm hoping we don't have to. I think that is a possible location for Barb's Rifle to spawn under that concrete bridge. But I'm hoping, if we're incredibly lucky, that we will be able to find it at the garage. Quickly nip up here. There's a house there that I don't think you can go in, but it does have a workbench on the back. It's always good to know that there's a little workbench there. Anything in here? 
Revolver ammunition. As usual, it's in the sardines. Sardines. Coffee. Revolver cartridge. Keep going. Right, and how are we looking for our cabin fever? 22%, pretty much the same as when we started. Could be better, could be worse. Accelerant, no, don't need accelerant. Do not need antiseptic. We are fine. This one's a bit pointless, isn't it? Uh, search that one. I will take. Right. Uh, okay, a little bit of food. Yeah. The only thing we can go in this one. Oh, we can. I didn't think we'd go in it. Okay. Well, we can go in it. Have a little look. Pork and beans, dusting sulfur. Oh. Ooh, we've got a big old cooler in here. Nothing in it. Lost bits. Holy chocolate. That's what I've always wanted. And I think that's pretty much it for here. So, if we go around here. Little look. Yeah, we got some lines and hooks on here, which is nice. We could do a bit of fishing if we really wanted to. Yeah, maybe. And that's pretty much here. So that's nip across and that's try and explore some of these fishing huts before we head back to our little island over there. Because there's a few on the way and it looks like it's fairly safe at the moment from wolves anyway. Right. Another pork and beans. A hook. Cloth. Go check this one. The walls are over there now. But this side looks fairly clear at the moment. Okay, we do have something in there. Are you? Coffee! And revolver ammunition, of course it is! <laughs> it's always revolver ammunition. Green flare, okay. I think everything. Oh. Let's nip back to the island. And that's not too shabby. I think, yeah, the only other fishing hut is that one. But I think that one might be a bit too close to the wolves. I will quickly go have a look. Because then we can say that we've covered all of them. Uh, maybe I should go check underneath that bridge. If Barb's rifle is there, I don't really want to pass that up. There's apparently two corpses here. I missed one. Oh, well, there is one here. There's nothing in it. A couple of crow feathers, though. Okay. There's something else washed up on the beach over there as well. Yeah, I think I am going to go check this out. I'm probably going to have to use one of the many flares that we've got. That's not too big a problem. What's that? Just wood. You can find all sorts of random stuff here. It's great. Crouch now. Okay. Ooh, rifle ammunition. Worth doing. Another hook, another roll of ammunition, of course. Right, let's get a torch out. Come on, run at me. Oh. 
and there's the bear. There's Mr. Bear. Okay, we are going to have to deal with two wolves on the way back, but that's fine. Now we just need to look under this bridge if Barb's rifle's there. Great, if not, chances are it's probably going to be at the garage. Um, they're the only places I found it in. Not here. Okay, let's try and get back to the island. I'm going to try and keep my eye on that bear wherever it is. Come on, hurry up. Run at me. Run past. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. I don't have all day. Oh, it's going to burn out soon. Run past me. Good. Good. Now you run past me. Screw you. Run, run past him. <laughs> there we go. I think we're going to be fine now. Yeah, good. What's our cabin fever looking like now? 24, it's gone up? Really? I didn't think it would be going up from that. I'm honestly surprised. Okay, but at least we know that the rifle isn't going to spawn uh, from the logging cabin that way. It's going to be somewhere else. Oh, right, what do we actually want to take with us? I'm going to have to pick up like all of this and sort it. This is annoying. Let's drop three dog food. Two and a half litres of water. We'll drop a flare, lantern fuel, a can, and that. And that's enough for me to live off if I happen to find it again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now that's done. On to Jack. Oh, is, did we find out what this... No, we didn't even map it. Actually map it. Yeah, this is Jack Rabbit. Okay. And that must be Misanthrope Homestead. We haven't checked that fishing spot or that. Right, maybe before the day gets any further along, we should check those two, because it doesn't look like there's wolves in either of those spots. And then we can check Miss Anthrope's homestead. If we can check this one and that one, I think there's probably only one or two fishing huts left to check. And at that point, we can definitely rule out the fishing huts as a place for rifle to spawn. Right, we can see the lookout here. And right in front of me, behind this little fishing spot, is the little village where we are going to set up our base. So I am wondering whether it's worth us going back up there for now, because we could just go straight, drop everything off, and then we can go explore. Might be a better way to do it. Unless we just find it here. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Right, let's quickly search the drawers before I actually pick up that rifle. Oh, I'm so happy. Here we go. Barb's rifle. L green 303. 69% nice. Um, a 303 with a custom stock. A trucker's companion and a durable friend on the open road. Reliable beyond all else. So what's amazing about this rifle is the fact that it only loses one condition per shot compared to the standard rifle, which I can't even remember how much it loses, but it's I think it's two and Bourne's rifle loses three per shot. So technically, Barb's rifle is the one you want going into late game. The payoff is it's slightly heavier. Now, as I said, bear and moose can spawn here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. So we're going to check out these two houses before we go into the main town itself. I like to take it slow going into the main town, just in case there are wolves. But it does look fairly clear this side, which I'm surprised about. Normally there's quite a few on this side, but it looks like this side of the lake is actually clear. Uh, well, let's do a quick check of here then. I doubt there's going to be much in here that we're going to want to loot. We'll just have a quick uh, whistle stop of here. 
And we're going to push on. Oh, a skillet would be nice to take to the garage. Another tomato soup on the floor. Yeah, I was wrong. There's lots of stuff here. <laughs> we're not going to be able to walk, are we? Oh, okay. Right. I think then, seeing as we can't actually move, let's, let's get out of here. Try and nip across to the garage. It should just be up and over this verge here. There it is. That's our aim. Now, the bear walks directly on this road. So if you are based here, you can literally nip out your door and hunt it straight in front of your base. Wolves can linger around here. And the moose can also peer there, just behind the garage. Uh, also, some deer can be up there. So it's a really nice base location. But what we're going to do is we are just going to jump into here. Yo, oh, look at all this food. This is nuts. Little peaches, sewing kits, lantern. Look at all the lantern fuel in the world. Uh, anything behind here? Sometimes there's a revolver. We've got a couple of flares. Look at all those drinks. There's not normally this much in Stalker, surely. This is crazy amount of food. Right, and we got a bedroll. Amazing. Don't you stim? Okay, we're going to be able to barely carry any. There's even more. Candy bar, candy bar. More drinks. Okay, we're going to eat like kings forever. This is amazing. We've got a couple of workbenches, which is really overkill, but it's quite funny. And a little bed. We've got our little fire barrel. And a note left behind. So Barb's Rifle can also spawn here, where I found it twice before. But let's just have a quick rundown of in here. I'm going to chuck as much stuff on the floor as I can after I've uh, looted this. And I think after I've looted this and the surrounding couple of houses, I'm going to call it a day. It's kind of a very quick whistle-stop tour of Coastal Highway. But we've looted pretty much everything that we need and what's good. We've gone through most of it. There's a couple of places we haven't gone to. Uh, but I'm planning on going to them on the way back. So, uh, right. So, for now, we don't need to chuck food outside because it doesn't matter if it's ruined or not, which is great. Chuck all of that on the floor for them and with them because that's why I bought them. Thank you. There we go. Now we've got a decent cooking spot here, which is very nice. Do not need all of these. Look at all these marine flares we've suddenly picked up. Uh, we're not going to need that either. Let's drop that. Uh, we're going to leave all the arrows here then. I can pick them up on the way back from Desolation Point. We are going to leave barbs here just because, but I am planning on taking it back with me. We're absolutely A-OK -okay for weight now that we've dropped all of that. And we've still got plenty. Like we, We've still got drink. We've still got food. This is fine. A pry bar, which I can leave. Again, very nice. So I think we're just going to loot in here. Uh, I think they're then going to loot around the little settlement here. Jump remover. A hacksaw as well. Decent condition. We're going to have near a full set to leave here, which is crazy. Bandage, painkillers, nice. Flare shell. Ooh, and coffee, nice. Ooh, what's that behind there? Rifle ammunition, nice. <laughs> right, so I think that is this place fully looted, which is amazing. 51 rifle ammo. Okay, I'm not feeling too bad about the fact that we do not have a uh, <laughs> a bow right now. Actually, we're not going to need all these marine flares, are we? We'll save them. Can we take any charcoal from this? We can. Excellent. Cool. Let's do a little survey. There we go. Right. Anything in here? Oh, we got more revolver ammo. <laughs> of course we do. Another 10 rounds. Can't believe pretty much every time we've left the map and gone to a new one, we've just uncovered another revolver and just got all the ammo back that we left behind. Crazy. I think we've actually now got more ammo than what we left. This stuff will come in uh, handy. It's eerily quiet here. I'm worried that means that there's going to be a moose or a bear around. I can't see anything. Another candy bar. Another Enid. Oh, Marine Flare. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's just jump into this house. We are getting tired. I don't want them to be much longer. 
We'll just finish checking out the house in town, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. Maple syrup. Uh, sorry if I'm flying too quickly through everything, but to be fair, it's not like it matters what the condition is anymore. Cups of coffee, very nice. Uh, another five cups of coffee. Uh, just because we can have stuff whatever. I mean, I was pausing quite a lot before just to see what the condition was. If the condition is not really a concern, then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going a bit quicker. Ooh, a cup of herbal tea. Ooh, that's nice. Keep that as a spare. Well, keep that here as a spare. Now it's just the other side we need to go. And we do have a car there I could check out. We got in here. It looks like there might be a book on the front. I think it's a fishing book. Fishing mag, whatever it is. Uh, nothing in the boots. How is our cabin fever? 40, it's still 43%. Frozen angler. We're going to have to sleep in a car or something, because that will lower it. I was hoping to avoid sleeping in a car, but I don't think I'm going to have an option right now. Oh god, the bear's right there. Oh, that cheeky bear. Ooh. Candy bar, for some reason, in the mailbox. Jump in here. Okay. I think probably last house before we go to bed if the bear's right there. I don't want to risk uh, getting exhausted not being able to run. Which we probably won't be able to after we leave here, but still. Peanut butter. Take the water. Okay, that all have to do then. Run while we can. Uh, let's get in here. There's like uh, one house there, one house up there. One house on the coast that we missed. But that's it. So I'll probably check those next episode. Uh... But I think for now, we are exhausted. Um, we've got a blizzard going on. We've got uh, cabin fever. I reckon what we do is we just try and get through tonight. Hopefully the cabin fever will have gone by then. And then I will call it a day. So we are just about to run out of energy. So I guess we'll get out our improvised bedroll and let's sleep for three hours. We've survived 75 days, seven hours and 70 minutes. Well, it looks like the blizzard has died down, which is very nice. Our cabin fever has gone down considerably, thankfully. But we're not going to want to take much chance with that. We're going to want to get rid of it fully before we get out of this car again. Sleep for another three hours. Well, that's an aurora. I could run to check to see if that mine is... Uh, <laughs> that lift is operational, but I highly doubt it, and I will probably die in the process. So you know what? I think I'm going to sleep a bit more. It looks like cabin fever has gone looking in the bottom left, so that is good. Good. Keep eating, keep drinking. Go to sleep for another few hours. Well, um, <laughs> uh, it's it looks like the weather's not great. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna step out the car. And I'm gonna fall into this one because I cannot be bothered to wait out that. I'm going to call it today, there, guys, because we did what I wanted to do, which was we've explored. A good chunk of coastal highway. So I think what we're going to do next episode is I'm going to loot the last three houses in this little area. And we'll push on to Desolation Point in hopefully either that day or probably today actually. Or whenever. I think that's pretty good. So thank you so much for watching everyone. If you like what's in please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lord, Lord, TK, Oz, Toolman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchill, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Ryan, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You're all just amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much for your support. It means a lot. So just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next episode where we are going to head off to Desolation Point. So cheers, guys. Bye-bye.